Hello everyone, so this book review is on the terrific The Blood Miracles by Lisa McKenney. Now, most of you should, hopefully, know Lisa McKenney because she was the author of The Glorious Heresies, the book that won the Bailey's Prize last year. A terrific book about the injustices and violence of life in the margins in modern day Cork. And after such an extraordinary debut, I kind of felt sorry for Lisa. I sort of thought, oh my goodness, what on earth is she going to write next? How do you live up to something that had such an extraordinary debut? Well, The Blood Miracles has delivered because it is a terrific book. But it's also a book of immense high risk because Lisa has returned to the world that she created in The Glorious Heresies. So we're back deep in gangland, crime, violence, drugs, prostitution, and the rest, all in modern day Cork. And you'd sort of think, <gasps> going back to a world you created in a book that was nigh on perfect is immensely high risk. But The Blood Miracles is a very different book from The Glorious Heresies, and you certainly don't have to have read The Glorious Heresies to read this. We are a few years on, and even though um, we know this world, the world has changed and we haven't returned to exactly the same plot and characters and cast as we did before. Instead, this book is focused solely on the young lad, Ryan. Now, for those who've read Glorious Heresies, you may remember Ryan was the young lad who was an emerging drug dealer in Cork who got caught up in a terrible dispute between his father and the local kingpin, Jimmy Phelan. Like I said, we're a few years on now, and now Ryan is very much at the fore as someone to go to for drugs in Cork. He's very much secured his market and he's doing well. The only thing is he has a very difficult emotional balance and struggles with his girlfriend. So what goes wrong? Well, right at the start of the book, there is a drugs deal that goes terribly wrong. And Ryan is caught very much in the middle. This has all the pace and excitement that you'd want in that kind of uh, Irvin Welsh-esque world where there is lots of violence, there's lots of gangs, there are gang leaders, people are going missing, lots of violence. It's pacey, it's taut, it's exciting. And yet Lisa has also weaved in a really beautiful subplot that actually takes you by surprise. You don't realize how subtle it is for a while as Ryan befriends, um, strikes up an unlikely friendship with an elderly lady uh, in the community. And through this friendship, you begin to see a lot of the soul under Ryan and that uh, beneath all the damage, there may still, still be the remnants of a good guy there. And that is what the blood miracles is about. It's about the fight between head and heart in Ryan and which one is going to win. Will he be able to leave the drugs and the gangs and the violence of Cork behind him? Or is his hand pretty much dealt? It's, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Uh, Lisa's writing is so deft. She has a great ear for dialogue. The plot is really tight, it's exciting. There's a lot of narrative drive, but there's a real emotional pull there. There are some very beautiful chapters as Ryan talks to his dead mother, confides in his dead mother, who he has such conflicting emotions with. He misses her, but he's so angry that she's not in his life there to guide him and protect him. This may lack the sort of grand scope of heresies. So heresies had this huge myriad of characters, a great cast, and there are so many themes there about the corruption of Catholicism and the lot of women in Ireland. And that sort of uh, big scope, grand scale isn't in this book, but this is very much still a book about the decisions that have to be made when you live in the margins. Uh, this book is published at the end of April and oh, it's glorious, glorious in its own way. This blood, The Blood Miracles by Lisa McKenney, deft proof that Lisa is a terrific writer and I was so excited to read this. This is very much up for someone who loves um, exciting, radical, new, exciting works by writers that are really pushing the boundaries. I loved The Blood Miracles, loved it.